Well, good morning, guys. It's uh, it's uh, Friday, and uh, it's 3:30 in the morning. Um, yesterday, I got a call from some close friends of mine, and uh, they're having some issues and needed a hand. So uh, I uh, bought a ticket for uh, the next plane out to Atlanta. So uh, we're gonna go see them and help them out with their rig, get them back up on the, get them back going and then freaking head on home. Oh my God, I can't even <laughs> talk right now. Get them back going. <laughs> no, man, no, 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 So, good morning. It is uh, 3.30 in the morning right now. And Jesus Christ, Mitchell. We're, pa we're, we're passing an attorney lane, huh? <laughs> this motherfucker. Mr. Mitchell uh, is uh, taking me to the airport right now. Bought a ticket for the next flight out to Atlanta. Um, I've never been there. Should be a good time. I'm excited for you guys to find out who it is. Um, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and hopefully you guys like it. All right, let's get going. You at least gotta say hi. No. Hey now. <laughs> uh. Well, we are here, guys, and look who we're with. It's like I saw you last week. It's <laughs> I crazy. Know. What's, What's going on, bro? man? Oh, you left his tailgate up. Me up. Oh, you got it. I got you. I got you. Thank you, sir. Oh man, look who else it is. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> How's it going, up, bud? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you too, What's man. Up? Oh boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you got runaway bags. Come on in, come on in. All right. So what are we here for? We're about to see <laughs> I know. We're about to find out. I know. So rescue mission, we got to make sure that we get him back up and going. So yeah. Baby. No, that over to that. Yep. Yes. So we gotta swap that stuff over to there, uh -huh. and we gotta get that thing installed. And I guess in, in what kind of time frame? In, in, in what kind of what so kind of time frame? Today is Friday. It is six <laughs> o'clock, and <laughs> this thing has to be running and driving and loaded onto the trailer Monday night. Yeah. So. So we're we're gonna have it we're gonna have it on the trailer on and Sunday. You, and you go home <laughs> Monday night. I go home on Monday. Monday midday was the latest flight I could find. We'll have this thing up and running tomorrow. It's fine. Don't do that. No, nah, dude. I am a. Don't do that. No, nah, dude. dude. I, oh, no, 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 no. No, listen, listen. I'm a, I'm a firm believer oh, that if you just, people. if you, no, 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 if you talk. You know when we're gonna be able to get parts? Tuesday or Wednesday, guaranteed. If you, if you talk about Murphy. He stays away. Oh, is that that all there? That that's yeah. that. I'm a firm believer. Do we have the exact opposite experiences of that <laughs> in life, Marvin? No. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get back to work. So I'll get back to you guys. We're gonna assess the situation. We're gonna see where we're at. Due to the oil. busted uh, valve, cover. valve covers that had huge holes in them, you know, when they pulled the motor with the chain, it completely cracked the valve cover, so. And here's why you buy a crate motor, not a junkyard motor for a swap. Crate motor. That's rich people problems, all right? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is going to be problem. This is gonna pay for twice instead of one crate motor. So like see how it congealed stuff? Yeah. You would see it on this windage tray, and this windage tray is super clean. Like, you know, since it has 
all that ring down. Yeah, aluminum trap and all that. All right, guys, today we're doing header wrapping. For the first time for me, never done this. It's gonna be tricky to get it like all even. I wanna make it all look nice. So not sure how cool this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna give it a try. Here, we got it soaking in water. So apparently that's what you do. You soak it in water so you can stretch the hell out of it. And then, uh, yeah, it just uh, shapes around a little better and tighter. That's what we want. So let's get to work. Gloves, this is most important. Fiber <laughs> fiberglass is super <laughs> important. Put this in water, it does a couple things. Obviously it can make it tighter, but it keeps the fiberglass from just blowing through the air as bad. So that's super duper important. And then a lot of people will start at one end and go to the other and you can do it however you want. I always start at one end of the pipe and like where an outlet is or, so I'd start here work my way around here a couple times and go here and then go back down here everybody does it different but in it like there's no rhyme or reason to this it's just whatever you feel most comfortable with um you can also reposition this as many times as you want um don't feel like you got to hold it in one spot like we could turn it around and then it goes up over here we've got some different options but this is what i suggested to marvin to start with and this will and then, keep the heat out of my engine bay just a little bit at least right correct it's not like life-changing by any means yeah. but we our floorboard gets pretty hot i mean i wish we could do the whole exhaust i mean we just don't have really time right now but but this will keep the engine to the um i mean from the uh from your original engine to the donor engine because your yours was in much better shape we found out the alternator does not work for track hawk challenger so tomorrow morning we'll get a new alternator that'll fit um we have changed the oil filter housing it had a little like curved adapter to it we took that out put the original one back in um honestly we've uh, done a lot get the valve covers on um there's a seal for the spark plugs in the valve cover. We've done that. Um, front main. Front main, yeah. Every, I mean, everything's been done. So, uh, no, I, I, I probably know what nine foot pounds feels like. When, you're, but when your elbow ratchets, when it goes click. No, don't listen to him. <laughs> don't follow <I'm> anything <laughs> that Mac tells you. Hey, this now. is aluminum. You'll. <laughs> It's assembled. It is. I don't know. I, I can't see. Yeah. What time is it? Two twenty-two. Two twenty-two. It's been. But, it's been a day. But let, let, let's take a quick. Yesterday. Let's take a quick look. So, looking pretty good. Yeah, motor well, stressed. We well, lack. Uh, we'll have a tensioner pulley tomorrow. Thermostat. Um, we're gonna check on a new starter because that starter was like caked in mud and stuff, and it would just might be a good idea. Plenum gasket. We'll probably put the engine back in for sure. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, motor mounts there. are back on. I mean, we're we're mostly yeah. there. Want to make sure all the analog gauges works. So we got all the cinders from the analog stuff on. Uh, we've got all the digital stuff that the Hemi wants to see on. So that's good. We're we're uh, moving forward at a fast pace. Golden. I think it's pretty much ready. Yeah. Yeah. How are we feeling about this new block now after inspecting it further and like digging into it? I think it looks good. It's still got crack. It's still got cross hatching in it. Um, at least at the bottom sides of the bottom sides of the freaking um, piston holes, but I mean, I think it, I think it's gonna be in decent shape. Perfect. Yeah. All right. See you guys in the morning. Day two for me. I shouldn't say we have a lot left to do, so let's get after it. You blow up a motor, or you're having an issue, and you're using those old parts. Um, his was caused because of a rollover because oil got freaking filled the intake, and these Hemi's right here they can retain a crap ton of oil in this intake to explain why it's really really important to take your freaking piss or take your intakes apart if you have a plenum on them or at least shooting brake clean or running a hose through them this is all aluminum piston material sitting in this intake 
and it takes one bad jostle to suck that through your intake and the whole top end of your engine's toast. So we're really glad we did this. Now we'll get it sprayed out, cleaned out, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. All right, so now just out of curiosity, because it looks, looks as bad as it does inside the intake, we're gonna take the heads off my old motor and show you guys how bad it really looks inside. How's the head looking? Something has left the chat for sure. Wow, put that on my carnage tree over there. Yeah? Oh, up there. I can feel it. Yeah. Can you see it all? Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> All right, guys, we're making good progress. Motor is coming along nice. Jack this thing up with the forklift with Mr. Mac over here just to get it up and get it off the engine hoist because we need to get the flex plate off. And also, you guys can already see it, but like down here is a metal bushing right in the middle of that flex plate. And uh, yeah, that we need to get out because um, this uh, motor was used with a different transmission and that little metal bushing was basically there to merge onto a different transmission. So rule of thumb, if you are just sitting in a chain, this engine can go either direction. So if you just take two screwdrivers and you run it through the holes, and you can zip tie them in place or however you want to do it. We'll end up zip tying this one because it's not going to stay up. But it will hold it so if this chain or this engine while you're working on it ever tries to roll and take the chain with it, the screwdriver will stop it. All right. Now you can buy an actual like place that actually bolts onto the intake. Yeah, I know. And allows you to rock the motor the way you want it to rock and, and sit. And when Andrew's not around, I get to show you the redneck ways. <laughs> All right, let's pull this off and see what we got. Is as you guys saw before, this ring is different than his torque converter snout, which is over here. So what I got is a bolt or a nut in there, and then there's a backing plate with a uh, with a couple nuts to cover up that gap that's in there is weld around this. So just to that cup right there, and then we'll be able to twist this bolt in and it will hit what's in there and uh, push the sleeve out. It's all tacked in. All I did was tack the corners to keep the heat away from this, away from the actual cranks now. I also rubbed grease all around the crank and on the inside before I welded this nut so none of the weld BBs will get in there or get to where somewhere where we're going to run into an issue like in the threads in any of these bolt holes or anything like that. But the issue I'm running across right now is it's, uh, it's so tight in there that it's just turning the engine over. So what I did is I went and got Marvin. So he's going to hold the front crank and uh, he's gonna hold that nut since we're pulling in opposite directions, so it's still tightening it, so it won't hurt it. And we're gonna pull this freaking race out. Oh yeah. Yeah? Like a glove? Noise. That is it. Noise. And no crank damage like there was before on your old one. Sweet. <laughs> So let's get the rest of this buttoned up. Let's get the other engine lifted up so we can grab the flex plate off of it. And then uh, we're ready to drop this thing in the, in the Jeep. You ready for that? Absolutely. It's All right. So what do we got left, bud? Uh, look at that. What's going on there? I, those are coming out. Those are the spacers that I had to use to push the thing out. It's coming out. So. You focus on your job. You talk about your job and then I'll talk about my job. <laughs> All right, listen here. Motor <laughs> motor mounts because of the camera. <laughs> All right, motor mount with the skip plate part portion. Um, we are going to go ahead and 
get the rear buttoned up back here. That is going in there and running tonight. I said it, Andrew's gonna be mad because it's gotta happen now, it's on camera. I hate you, man. <laughs> day three and uh hopefully we're ready to fire it day, day four for marvin day three for me <laughs> see we gotta shoot different intros now 